A combination of overfishing, hurricanes, and disease devastated the reef ecosystem in Jamaica. By the 1980s, fish stock plummeted, and the island lost 85% of its coral reef, replaced by algae and seaweed. And after some of the decline, a lot of the international scientific community abandoned Jamaica. Well, the Jamaicans couldn't abandon Jamaica because that was their coral reef. Instead, the local community banded together to bring their reef back from the brink. We've taken corals from the wild and we break them into tiny pieces and then each tiny piece grows into a new coral. So we're basically cloning them. In the past decade, more than a dozen fish sanctuaries and coral nurseries have cropped up in Jamaica. Inilik Wilmont and Belinda Morrow both grew up in Jamaica and run two of the sanctuaries with help from unlikely partners. Finally, we had the fishermen coming saying, what can we do about this? We've trained up a couple of fishermen as coral gardeners and these are the guys who are actually in the water doing, doing the work, you know. It's painstaking work growing and transplanting corals. Keeping out illegal fishermen is another challenge. Sometimes we have poachers. That's why we have to go patrol 24 hours a day, morning and night. Corals in Jamaica also face the same threats as corals around the world, including bleaching caused by warming waters. For us to solve these problems, for us to keep coral reefs growing, we have to find solutions. In Jamaica, the grassroots efforts are paying off. Fish stocks have increased and coral reefs have gained ground. You know, we've born here, we've lived here, we want to see it restored to what it was. All indicators of reef health have been positive since the sanctuary is implemented, you know, everything. 